took a shit in a bird's nest. Now the mother won't feed its young anymore. We live, man? Yeah, we're gone. We're Episode on. number 21 of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast in Michael's shell of a basement now. We got to get out of here, man. We got we to gotta leave. We got three, four weeks and we're, we'll have a whole new place. To, we don't know where. We're on a hunt for a house and we don't know where we're going. It's that- more than likely that we might be in James's penthouse is it a penthouse yeah james's penthouse yeah, you're welcome to that. it's actually a garage but i can see but that happening. Tem- but we're really going to try and rent a nice place and just fucking set everything up there and the brown will um be the caretaker he will oversee it and be running security there having the yeah having all these haves there and we will then we will then go there to to do our dirty work so like it could work out well if we it's the reality TV show that we want. We could have cameras like Big Brother, Brown. It'll brother. help for Bachelor Brown. It'll definitely help for Bachelor Brown. Brown That's brother. for sure. Oh, yeah, I'm not moving in now because you won't live in that that tiny little shithole. That's fucking so many meth heads around you all the time. You'll be in a big, beautiful mansion, You're and you'll be able to now. you'll be able to have as many women as you want. Would you allow 24 hour surveillance in that house? Would you allow 24 hours in yours? I'm ever? pretty sure there already is. Like <laughs> our phones and our phones. Right, what's TV. the news? Michael's been saying he's got some news yeah. to tell us. Okay. We figured out it's probably fucking golf, golf related. related. So don't get too excited. Okay. No one get excited. He built about us up. This. He built us up. So I got excited. So I bought a six pack and I was just, I was just, I had to. Okay. And here we are. James and Mono, our friends are here. I got a hole in one. Did this you? Morning. Oh, did you film it? Oh, no, I didn't film it. But oh. like, I had a witness. My beautiful girlfriend Amber was there. She plays golf, by the way. If you, have, oh my god, it's so good playing golf with your partner. Oh, anyway, there I was. I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a hole in one because I was pissed off. I got even for the 18 holes. Where at? I got even, even par for the 18 holes. Take that, Dad. You played golf. Anyway, you leave your dad out of this. I got. Oh, there I was. I was like, I, I got. I'm gonna get a hole in one. Bang, it goes up. I watch it. Just it dropped in the hole, and then I look at Amber, and she's like, "Oh my god!" And then she just comes up, and I'm looking around, and then this old man goes, "I didn't see it, but I believe you." <laughs> oh damn it! He didn't see it. Yeah, but like, uh, oh, Amber's he, still a witness. Yeah, Amber's a witness. And did I, you know without even needing to go that close to the hole? Yeah. Okay. So here's the. So thing. I must and be quite close to begin with. So here's why it's five out of ten. Okay. It's a pitch and putt, uh, but it was a sixty uh, meter hole, which is still pretty rad. It's like half. It's like half good. That's yeah, why I said it is, five it's out half of 10. good. It's only. Is half it the regular pitch and putt we go to? No, no, no. That's not a pitch and putt that we go to. That's a par three course. Oh, sorry, okay, so it's even say, smaller sorry. than that. It's about sixty it's meters. So we're used that. to hundred meters. Is a par three? Is sixty meters. Anyway, so it's a long putt. He's made a long putt. No, I've made a <laughs> fucking chip that's gone in the hole in one hit. And I got even for 18 holes on pitch and putt. Still, that is rad. Right, James? You know that's cool. It's very good. It's a five. Corinda. So like, uh, yeah, Corinda. Um, number 13. And sorry. There Satan. you go, everyone. Is Let us know if you've got any hole in ones. Is put a comment underneath it. I'm so, that's why I bought beers. I was like, I'm celebrating this. Does that I mean got you've a got a fucking hole in one. Like that's my tick. Like the world is gonna end, and I did it. Like fuck yes. Speaking of world's ending, uh, man, I've just come out of the one of the hardest weeks. We we're meant to get back to work this week, and then come Tuesday, I knew something was wrong. And then thank God, now I'm actually happy. Mon and Esther went away on a little mother daughter holiday, so I had the house to myself Tuesday night and Wednesday night, and I fucking needed it because man, I got hit by some weird stomach bug. And like by Tuesday night, I was just totally fucked, shitting every 30 minutes. Just every time I had a sip of water, it would just go straight through me. And then I woke up one of the nights, I forget which one. It's all just a delirious, fucking painful, agonizing 72 hours. I woke up drenched in sweat at like 4 a.m. And it's so cold in Brisbane at the moment. Ugh! Pull a blanket off me, freezing. And I look down and there is shit everywhere. I've oh, just I've shit myself. I've never had such bad diarrhea that I couldn't control it. That I couldn't 
even if I clenched my cheeks as hard as I could, it would Seeped still out. leak it's out. It's weird. I've never, yeah. I've I always needed that Selly's seal to Seeping stop it. Seeping out strange. That's yeah, different. Dude, I've never had that before. I had to go to the Leakage. hospital to get some fluids and some fucking painkillers. It's like it maybe like they should create a vaccine for something like and that. And then I literally have like a fucking one beer just, just like half an hour ago and the stomach is still not right. So today was the first day I was like, like 90%, but that one beer has brought me back down on maybe like 60% now. So it's still an ongoing issue, Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's prolonged. Where's your alien tattoo? Dude? So we had another fucking week off. So next oh. week we start back. Anyway, that's been my week. And I ended up in hospital too. Uh, Matt Brown and I'm <laughs> fucking hospital. Fuck me. We've had an unhealthy fucking week, haven't well, we? All three hey, of I'm us. I'm getting hole in one. That's uh, pretty unhealthy, <laughs> like, man. I'm fucking- I bought a picture to show everyone what put me in hospital. Go on. So yeah. I ended up with a, another kidney stone. <laughs> so like, sh- save them all and you should make like one of those, um, what are they, grains of sand thing? Dude, yeah. let's smoke the kidney stone. Let's pipe it. All right, let's, let's, let's I'm down for smoke it a little it's kidney stone. It's going to take a while to crush. But um, if you want to hold that up to the cameras, that's uh, the stone after I pissed it out. You, you probably can't see it. Go you can forward. probably just see all of take the urine. Dude, take it up with the camera. If I'm you not don't fucking mind. getting off my seat. Oh. <laughs> anyway, there it is, everyone. It's uh, and he's brought it along today. It's it's about the size of a flea. <laughs> he tripped a bit. He tripped a little bit. Tripped a bit. <laughs> yeah. Now oh. back on his ergonomics chair. <laughs> have, a, have a kneel down. <laughs> There it goes. Much better. Yeah, so we're filming on a Saturday today, everyone. So it's a it's a bit sillier than usual. Mm. Um, by the way, we'll just get this out of the way. But before we get into it, we're running a comment competition, everyone. So w- at the end of the season, we are picking one comment from our entire season of comments. One comment at random to win $1,000. So the more times you comment, the more entries you have into that competition. This is direct financial advice from us to you. Comment as many times as you can to improve your chances of winning $1,000. If you comment like a million times, you've got like a 99% chance of winning. And I'm not a maths, but that's pretty good. <laughs> My area of expertise is science. Ooh. So I'm not a maths, but that's pretty good. One million comments, you're guaranteed to win nearly. Holy shit, yeah. It is more than likely you will win. So where's your, what do you want in life? What do you want out of life? You want $1,000? You got to work for it. Nothing comes for free. Sit down and make some comments. Let's move on. Okay. No, that's fair. Where's the, where's the kidney stone? Let's smoke it. No, it's going to take ages to try and crush it. No, no, we're not going to crush it. We're just going to burn it. Burn the whole thing down. Let's oh, you do want to keep it? I'll I'll s- Matt's got to look at his face. He wants to keep it. Keep it. Yeah, it's a son to him. It's like a son. Yeah. And I just realized, right? I've just realized yeah, this. No, this is In the black book, yeah. whenever Matt is mincing, it's really just a huge infestation of gout and kidney stones mixed together, creating a bubble hard brown. Oh, mince no 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 I'm gonna go further than that now in this day and age apparently men can get pregnant and have kids so what you've had is a child What's that it? is that little rock fucking mini like it's if you plant mon- that molecule, a mat will grow you that is a kid it's you not just, a kidney stone you have a kid it's a kidney seed <laughs> if you plant it a kidney will grow <laughs> Matt has had a kid. You are a dad. No, Matt, you're a dad. Oh, what do I... Um, Matt, Greg, dad. Do you want to name it since you guys have discovered this? I think I everyone know. in the comments should name it. What should we name oh, Matt yeah, Brown's kidney good. son? Kidney what should we name No, we should call it Greg. Greg's it's, pretty good. Greg will be hard like to we beat. We want that kid to have whichever, the worst whichever, life possible. Whichever name has the most likes in the comments, that will become the name of <laughs> Matt Brown's fucking kidney stone. Can't... All right, we got a pretty big episode. The Black Book is back, of course. We got Michael's fucking diary. I mean, Bible. We got Bachelor Brown. We got the prank call at the end. And what are we doing again? We're calling a fucking. Oh, calling a taxi. Darren's calling a taxi because he's lost his fucking gear in one and he mm. wants it back. And he has to be real careful how he describes it. Do you know what I mean? What's gear? Gear is drugs. Uh. Gear is drugs, cunt. On this day. Sorry. Is that all the shit talk that we had to talk about? What else has happened? Like, that, what, what did we do on our week it. off? Well, that's, like, well, nothing uh, really. We oh, just, just tried not to die. You were sinking holes in ones, and mm. Matt was giving birth. 
Yeah. yeah. The, everyone thinks the when you piss it out, it hurts, but it's actually when it's traveling. The feeling, sorry, the fear. Sorry, the feeling like pissing out was like just came out. Yeah, it's because you got a really wide. What, so you were pissing hole. in bottles, saving your piss. No, I was pissing in a cup each time to see if it came out because you wanted that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and, and I, I, I piss in bottles all the time. And that's James cool. has all a question. Do you have a question? How's the cum bottle? Oh yeah. How is the cum bottle brown? I don't know what you guys are talking He's about. He's not going to tell us. I'm real happy that it's been brought up. <laughs> Only James would I would allow to ask the question. Oh, well, how is it going? Show are you a fingers. male or a female? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You've got a you've got a kid now or kid niece, don't. I don't know. What is that? No, because men can have kids. You just yeah, said yeah. that. Sorry. Sorry. That is so true. All right, let's go. But get- yeah, yeah, wait, wait. How is the cum bottle? He's not gonna tell us. Let's just let forget about it until, gotta- until the day he comes when he has it in his hands. Just on air. You will bring it on the show one day though, when it's ready. Well it's gotta be ready. Yeah big jar of mints. I ain't faking it either. So. Imagine if you came and the kidney stone came out. Oh, I, just, I, <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, fuck. I, I'm like, what if I jack off? I think it's different um, different lanes different of traffic. Pipe. Yeah, two different lanes. Yeah, two different lanes comes from, merge but it, into But one. the urethra is the only canal is that, that everything canal? comes out of. Yeah, but they, that leads to different things. Do you know, I only learned like five or Words? six years ago that Anyway, no, I won't say that. Um, I'm going to go piss. All right. While Michael pisses, welcome to the future, everyone. If you don't have this, there's something fucking wrong with you. You fucking dumb fuckwits. You stupid dick. Sit down and listen to me right now, fuckwit. Okay? Because NordVPN is here. NordVPN is the VPN of the future, you fucking stupid pigs. You dumb fuck. You're sitting there. No security for your home computers and your devices, dickhead. You only get to watch Australian Netflix. Are you stupid? Read a fucking book and download NordVPN slash fully actual, okay? If you use our discount code, you get huge discounts. You get a free fucking gift. They're just going to give you a present, okay? And all you have to do is sign up. That's They're losing money by doing that. They're literally going bankrupt, but they want you to sign up. NordVPN slash fully actual, okay? You can watch any streaming services from any country in the whole fucking world. Plus, no one can track you or no one knows where you are and the government come and get you if you're an illegal immigrant. So just fucking go out there and download NordVPN fully actual. It's $3.35 a month for their two-year plan. That's nothing. That is not money. That's not that doesn't that's free anything under five dollars is free i wouldn't even stop to pick up three dollars if i dropped it on the fucking ground yuck 335 it's two what's the point what's the point of that or you can go on the one year plan for 4.99 a month plus it's a money back guarantee so you're at no risk of doing something that doesn't work there's no risk matt there's no risk. Do you understand? You fucking can't. Anyway, NordVPN slash fully actual. I back that. And the other sponsor, oh. manscaped.com. These <laughs> cunts like have the okay. best male grooming products that you have ever fucking seen. I don't even know what half this shit is. All right? Go to their website, site manscaped.com. If you want 20% off, use our discount code fully actual 20 Fully actual 20, you get 20% off everything. They have the weirdest, coolest shit. They are male grooming inventors. They are the inventors of male grooming. Do you understand? So at least have a look at the website. Because I don't even... They invent so many new products that are so much better than any product out there that I can't fucking keep up. Keep up. Uh, it's exhausting, Matt Brown. But look how good we all look. Look at Michael right now using the nose hair trimmer to trim his tongue hair. Yeah, you get multi-purpose it. Mm. So if you're a fucking gross fucking piece of shit who has no one in their life and you don't know how to talk to women, go to manscaped.com and they will fucking fix you up. Use our discount code now. Go, go, go. I got a hole in one. Fucking well done. 
And our last sponsor, of course, the University of Markle, our subscription website where we post a weekly video that is far too graphic and awesome for social media. It's not made for the faint-hearted. So don't look at it if you're a fucking get offended easily or if you're grossed out yeah, easily. Yeah, if you're like a lot of people these yeah, days. My God, just have a... There's a free, free trial! So you can see if you like the content. And if it makes you laugh enough, then you can stick around and pay the $7.99 US a month or whatever the fuck it is, okay? But don't free even try up. Fuck off. Yeah, don't even sign up, all right? Just ask someone who has and see if they like the content. Matt hasn't signed up yet, so you shouldn't either. Don't sign up. He's easily offended. Amazing content on there. he's pregnant. The video out right now is... Oh, had a kid. The video out right now is who's the better hunter and Mike and I shoot each other with dart... Oh, bullets nerf guns with dark things it's it's de- it's yeah. crazy man exchanging blood it's crazy yeah. who won oh, oh shit <laughs> cut that connor cut him saying who won oh okay okay now oh, matt maybe. won't sign up yeah. oh, we can't tell him who won anyway those are the fucking sponsors let's move on with the good shit Oh yeah, if you don't want to do any of that shit, that's fine. But at least like, subscribe, and just give us a comment or a five star review on Spotify. Definitely that helps. Spotify, that's yeah, the good. Spotify is nice, mm. isn't? Seeing that go yeah, up, the ego a Spotify goes listener, fucking good on you. You guys are giving some five star reviews, then thank you for that. Yeah. Shut up. How many have we got? Shut up. Eight hundred or something? That's crazy. That's more people hey. than I've ever seen. Sometimes In I look at I looked at our TikTok uh, podcast lately. It's gone up if you want to well. go on TikTok, oh, yeah, we have a fully actual podcast. James, is that your name? <laughs> okay. He has been editing some little prank calls up and there. And they've been going and well. My God damn dad. It's gone up to over like 60, 2 million sometimes. 60K sub, uh, followers okay. in like a space of a couple 2 of weeks. million, same thing. So but our very good. TikTok is flying. So go on fucking whatever. Anyway, that's enough begging for things. Sorry. On yeah, this, don't do anything. On this day. Ooh. Sorry. I got a hole in one, by the way. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? On this day in 1966, anyway. a massive tornado tore through the largest daycare center in Washington. <laughs> Toddlers and babies were seen getting hurled around and slammed into big, thick trees, exploding on impact. Some were slung up high into the air and were shredded by, to pieces by opportunistic eagles looking for an easy meal. Babies screeching in fear could be heard for kilometers and kilometers. It still remains the most devastating tornado incident in history as over 20,000 babies got fully fucked up. It is in no way funny. Babies are future adults and they need to be respected, mate. Well, I think that says something about America because that wouldn't have happened if it was in Australia because we don't have eagles. And also, like, that's a big daycare center. 20,000. That's like Suncorp Stadium. Overpopulation. Half. Half. Uh, imagine that all babies in a tornado 20,000 of them just getting slammed in a shit picture it everyone picture it how sad that is bald eagles coming along and grabbing them picture babies (laughs) flying around the air getting picked off by eagles and slammed into trees and bald eagles all of them (laughs) devastating I got a hole in one sorry absolutely devastating <clears throat> All right, it's time for um, Michael's Bible, oh, everyone. Yeah. And this is where Michael reads an excerpt from his own personal recollection of what he believes the key to life and happiness. Michael prefers to be referred to as Beezus instead some, of Jesus. Of it. And here we Yin go. and Yang. <laughs> it's always that. Uh, oh, Buddha and stuff. Have that. All right, this one I was hammered and I didn't put it in a chapter. I just, it's just like at the back, the references as you put in like an assignment. It's like an assignment. This is exciting. If you are seeing C, shouldn't your eyes get wet, you see? Perhaps crying is seeing the C. You see, only you can see C if you can see, of course. Seeing C isn't all it's cracked up to be. Being C is Pacific and Indian, you see. If you see, then you can see C. If you can't see, then C isn't real, really. To you, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Did you get the Pacific and Indian shit? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> of the ocean? <laughs> uh, because of the sea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fuck it. Yeah. Anyway. Very yeah. good. No, no I get no, it. No. I get it. I don't Sorry. know if that applies to anything in my life, but Just, yeah, I get it. I'm all I get, sort of get what you're saying there. Julian's grandfather is <laughs> gone. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Sorry. Yeah, Julian's Sorry. grandfather is gone. Anyway. Sorry. 
may he rest in peace hey <laughs> all right guys um let's let's keep moving along okay um oh man this is hard <laughs> i really don't want to have to do this ah i do it <sighs> okay so next segment is um matt's black book where matt has um detailed yeah, very graphically every single sexual encounter that he's had um up to now so it's 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 intense as as most of you know i'll read it um you know i've taken upon my it's my job matt won't read it himself because you know it's, it's very personal to him should we oh hello okay. everyone um just a quick uh b- bong break before we get into this Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you have some more. The tolerance is going up. And we're back! <sighs> okay, so last time we left off in the Black Book two weeks ago, uh, Matt fucked a, uh, an adolescent beached whale and its mother whale was watching from out in the ocean. Uh, Matt panicked, ran out into the ocean when a crowd of people came and the mother whale uh, ate Matt Brown. So pretty devastating oh, turn of well, events. He fucked a kid whale. Yeah, remember? <laughs> you fucked it. Have you forgotten? I, I can't. I, I, yeah, I literally only remember the ending and you ending up in the whale. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm excited for this. So this is Matt's just woken up inside the whale's belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Oh my. I have number 57. <laughs> my, it's all mine. It's all mine. My eyes were still adjusting to the total darkness of the whale belly. I was feeling around, searching my surroundings. I grabbed something hard. It was wooden. I ran my hand along it and felt that it was quite long. Then suddenly, Bonjourno! <laughs> A voice came from the darkness. I still couldn't see. Hello? Who's there? My name is Geppetto. <laughs> Geppetto file. <laughs> D- this whale swallowed me into my boat about a week ago while I was a fishing. Nice to meet you, Geppetto file. My name is Matt Brown. And this whale revenge swallowed me after I fuck murdered its baby on the beach. <laughs> Italiano. <laughs> Italiano. <laughs> Geppetto and I laughed at our situation and got to talking. Turns out that he was having family issues too. His son had run away and he hadn't seen him since. I told him my situation with my brother, freeing me from jail and how he's the top haver of the family now, and we connected. We had a lot in common. Geppetto even had his own little store where he handmade wooden toys. Sex toys. His store was called Geppetophile's Sex Toys. My eyes had fully adjusted to the dark now and I could even make out the features of Geppetto. He was an older Italian man and was sitting in his small wooden dinghy. Suddenly, the whale's mouth opened and water came rushing in. We got swept towards the back of the stomach and then the mouth slammed shut again. Are you all right, Geppetto? Then a third voice chimed in from the other side of the stomach. Geppetto? Are you in here? A Pinocchio! Screamed Geppetto. Geppetto and Pinocchio ran to each other and embraced. There was something strange about Pinocchio. He looked a bit thin. As they embraced, I waded through the water towards him. Once I was close enough, I could see that Pinocchio was actually a fucking wooden doll. And strangely, his nose was shaped like an Pinocchio, you came to save me! Said Geppetto excitedly. I know we've had our issues, Dad, but I just want us to be a normal family. But only on one condition, Dad. Oh, Italiano! Anything for you, Pinocchio! <laughs> you, you have to stop using me for- What? Did I just hear that correctly? Hehe, <laughs> Mr. Brown, this is between me and my wooden stall, okay? Uh, Pinocchio, please, you are made for- I know, but somehow I'm conscious now, and that makes me feel things. And for some reason, my nose grows when I lie. Oh, Pinocchio, just to shatter your eyes. No, Dad! Stop! Geppetto reaches forwards and started fondling Pinocchio's <laughs> nose. He grabbed a hold of it and pulled Pinocchio closer to him. Let go, Geppetto! Oh, maybe you should stop, Geppetto. This feels wrong. I grabbed Geppetto's shoulder. Geppetto slapped my hand away. He's a fucking... 
<laughs> dog that I made, Matt Brown. He is a mind to f all I want. Now let me be. <laughs> He was right, but I couldn't stand by while this happened. This wasn't an ordinary <laughs> doll, it was living. I was going to have to fight to save this doll, and fight the only way I knew how. <laughs> Fuck fighting! Geppetto had already inserted Pinocchio's <laughs> nose straight up his <laughs> and was using him like a <laughs> Please no! It smells like shit! I pulled my pants down and slapped my little brown. It's go time, buddy. He shot up immediately, fully erect. I ran up to Geppetto and put both hands on the back of his head <clears throat> with all my might, I thrust forwards with my hips while pulling his head into me. My dick explodes into his mouth and smashes into the back of his throat. Geppetto is stunned, but manages to hang on to Pinocchio and keeps f***ing his nose. I start fucking Gepp Geppetto's skull hard and fast. Geppetto gags with every forward thrust and bites down hard on my throbbing brown. <laughs> I scream in pain. Geppetto looks up into my eyes with my cock still in between his teeth. And I ram my thumbs into his eyes and push his eyeballs back into his skull. I felt my thumbs pierce deep into his eyeballs. Yet still, Geppetto manages to keep f***ing Pinocchio. I try and thrust forwards, but Geppetto's teeth peel away my foreskin. I was trapped. Nothing was working. And now I couldn't fuck as Geppetto had his teeth around my little brown. Then it came to me. Pinocchio's nose. Lie, Pinocchio! You need to lie! <laughs> what? Just trust me! Lie! Pinocchio looked confused, but did what I said. One plus one is three! Pinocchio's nose grew, grew a little while still inside of Geppetto, and Geppetto's body flinched a little in pain. One plus one is three! One plus one is three! Pinocchio's nose started growing quickly and burrowed up through Geppetto's insides. One plus one is three! One plus one is three! The nose shot through Geppetto's heart and up through his neck and finally cracked through Geppetto's skull bone. I felt Geppetto's bite relax and removed my thumbs from his eyes. He was dead. His body went limp and Pinocchio removed his nose from him. I have to make sure he's dead, Pinocchio. Turn around. Pinocchio was clearly shaken, but Dizza did as he was told. I plugged my bloody, shredded little brown into Geppetto's ass and hammered away like a meth rabbit until I drained my mince-filled balls into the old Italian man. The mince ate away at him until he was completely dissolved. Fucking Italian cunt. Pinocchio turned to me. You saved me, my bro. How can I ever repay you? You can help by getting us out of this fucking whale. Then I leant forwards and snapped Pinocchio's meter-long <laughs> nose back down to a regular length. You got a deal, Matt Brown. <laughs> oh, Dude. No. So Pinocchio is real. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You are f mad. <laughs> you wrote Pinocchio. You wrote that. You wrote that. <laughs> you should be a millionaire, you fuck. Maybe he is a millionaire, but he lost it all in all the lawsuits against him. <laughs> sexual <laughs> harassment. Oh my god. Holy fuck, that was deeper than you think. Holy dad, I see what dad did. So Geppetto is actually a fucking pedophile. Well, yeah, well, his last name, no, we don't know that. His last name was File. His the first name was Geppetto. Geppetto File. Mm. Makes so much sense. Pinocchio is just a doll. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is yeah, just yeah. a doll. So it's not illegal, is what you're saying. But, you know, at the end of the day, the cunt did have a fucking conscience cunt, so. Oh, yeah, true. That's right. Holy you shit. You know what I mean? And that's why you acted like that. Because you stand up against pedophiles. You protected... Pedophiles. You the the like robot kid yeah. for 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 safety, and you killed Geppetto. That's but. unbelievable, cunt. <sighs> I'll shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> There's a well-deserved hand. So. Oh, Matt Brown, fuck me, cunt. Speaking of Matt Brown. It's time oh. for Bachelor Brown. Ah, ah, he's behind you! Matt Brown is behind you! Oh my god! Stand back against the wall! He's still behind you! He's always behind you! Matt Brown is always behind you! <laughs> and this is a segment yeah. where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to find a fucking girl out there to fucking have a phone date with this cunt because he can't do it. He sucks at getting partners and girls and he's all alone in his lonely little dungeon shithole. So we're going to find a mansion for him to live in and find him a wife. 
And that's what we've done. And we're going to call her right now. We'll give you some jewels. All right. And yeah. We'll give you some advice on the side, no, but we won't interfere. No. This one is really, really good. As per usual, we won't interfere, Matt. You, uh, you, you fucking you always have, interfere. As soon as she's on the phone, you have the floor. I'll do oh, the introduction. Why? And then we'll back right off. Last week, you did very well. Smooth, Matt Brown. Ice through the veins last week, weren't you? Cool and calm. Confidence was back. You had a massive erection. You were quivering less. <laughs> Let's keep that going. What's this girl like? You spoke to her, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. So What's her name? Do you know the no? Of no, the no, you didn't tell me. Okay, the boys know, and this is big. This is the one. This is who Matt Brown will marry one day. What do you mean boy. they know the no? I don't know. <coughs> Are you saying that they know the girl? Matt yeah. James and Mono know Well, no, no. They don't know her, but they know what I've said, I think. All right. It's like well, about the C. Well, without further ado. Oh, this one sounds like a setup. Let's fucking give it a buzz. And uh, Matt? Good luck, mate. You can do this. You are a smart, intelligent, handsome man. My anxiety's through the roof now. You've said too much, and now I feel like it's set up. Even though you're sitting on 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 an ergonomics chair. Oh, really? Yeah, you scared me. Now it's all going to fall apart. No, Matt, you're focusing on something so fucking minor and letting it affect your mood. This is the way you get married one day, I reckon. you got to let that go. Jump the hurdles in life. Move forward, plow on, and fuck. Throw the discus. Here we go. Is it connected to the... You wish yeah, it is. It is. Yep. All right, here we go. It's for love, Matt. It's for love. Just remember that, I'm Matt. Nervous now. No, no. Hello. Um, hello. Um, this is the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast that you've um, joined, as as I'm sure you know. Um, and sitting with or sitting with us here, we have um, the very powerful yet incredibly timid and scared, very hurt, vulnerable shaking Matthew Brown and he would love to get to know you um, so I'm going to throw it over to you guys have a little conversation let's see if that chemistry is there let's get you guys together and have a fuck hi Matt hey how are you I'm good. how are you good oh, good start Matt what's your name they didn't even tell me you have to guess I have to guess your name oh Oh, she's playing yeah. games Matt loves games mm. oh, what does it start with <laughs> I hate games. <laughs> you have to guess. <laughs> Come on, man. Have a it guess. Sounds like a huck to flash. <laughs> you have to guess. You I have to guess the flash. letter. No, you have to just get. try and guess the name, Matt. A female name. Maybe uh, Br- Bronda. Or oh, Candace. Say Candace Owens. Candace Owens. <laughs> How do you know? Say Candace Owens. <laughs> Candace Owens. It's not Candace Owens, Matt. Who's oh, Candace Owens? I don't know. I just She's made that up. Professional rugby it's- player. Brian? It's Candace. It is Candace. Your name is Candace. Yeah. It's nearly candy. Say that, Matt. And tell her you love candy. It's nearly candy. Probably and I love do. candy. I reckon go on a, like, really go out of the world and pick up a rock and throw. Yeah. All right, do you have? A, do you what? want a rock to throw? Throw a rock at her. Candace, do you mind if Matt throws a rock? No, he's, and, and we'll be honest no, and let you know. A tennis ball. All right. He's got a tennis ball. Let's see the arm on him because this could really impress Candace. I'd really like that. Yeah, all right. Let's have a throw. Go on, man. You know, I don't like you two, and Candace has got me on edge. <laughs> Just peg the ball the light and see what happens. I've got you on edge. Why are you on edge, Matt? Okay. Don't be on edge. I can't trust you at the moment because oh. the guys have set it up like, like it could be can a I, trap of some kind. Can I guess your star sign, Matt? Yeah, go for it. Say you're Taurus. I think you're a Pisces because you look so strong and handsome. Oh, are you? Are you? Are you you are. See, I think this is set up because oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. I could tell. <laughs> oh, look at that! She knows you, Matt. It's your sister. Hey, Candace, have I ever spoken to yes. anyone that you know before? He's calling her Candace. Yes. <laughs> I, was that, uh, shush. Was that a yes? Yes. So, who's the person that I've spoken to that you know? Well, you'll have to wait and find out. Mm, so many crypticnesses. Oh, so Candace, like when it, I recently told some of my pile of my star sign recently. Who did you tell? And that's why I'm, I'm like, this is fucking. Who did you tell? You've set who me up with tell? something. I don't who trust her. She won't tell me. Who did you tell? Matt, I'm really disappointed in you. <gasps> don't disappoint Candace. Have I spoken to you before? Yes, but I'm very disappointed that you don't know who I am. <sighs> yeah, Matt, how do you not know? You picked it last time. Yeah, I got it last time. Hello, Arlo. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Wait, hang 
one. But Isla, are you impressed that I knew our conversation when you asked the star sign? You didn't remember who with though. When yeah, you ask the song, you should recognize her voice. <laughs> I thought you were going to figure it out by then. You should then. be tattooing your conversations no. on your body, cunt. See, I was just on yeah. edge because I knew it was a setup from the beginning because they fucked with, like, it just the words that they said was just uh, all fuckery. Uh, I'm glad we got you on, Isla, because Matt has been genuinely telling, he's got a crush on you for sure. Uh, even yeah, off look. even off air, or when the cameras aren't rolling, he How talks dare you, you force her to come back t- on? We didn't, we didn't force, force her, yes, man. you did. We'll no, no, show no, you no. the DMs, bro. I asked them. Did you? I asked them to come yeah, back. See, see. Really? Have, what, what, I Isla, what, Isla, what's, he, what's he been like talking to you on, on what, what's it like from the other side of the coin? And what's oh, he been no. like to, to talk to via Instagram? Has he been all right? Look, me and Matt have our future planned out. We oh, don't really? need you guys anymore. Okay, well, yeah. that's good. As long as he's- Holy do- shit. As, as long as he's do- talking, he's not, he's not <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking this up. As long as he's not ruining this. I liked one of her photos the other day. I think I put love hearts in the- like story holy shit so it's got to that level <laughs> was it oh, love wow. hearts was it love hearts or was it a little fire emoji i can't remember well well you know we we're gonna put each other's names in our bios yeah. but um matt didn't know <laughs> my um, initials oh, it's id <laughs> I, I fucked it up. it's like it's so easy ID. you fucked it up as well i did the same thing i went id and it's not that <laughs> what, what it's is io it? oh. io yeah. Oh, oh on, of course. Yeah, yeah I, I made fuck his it's ID not, and I O. What's this not, mean? Isla O Doherty. Yeah. It's not Isla yeah. Doherty. Yeah. Oh, I see. Don't worry, I made the same mistake. See, it's very. Yeah, it's, really? it's, very, it's highly common. What is it? Isla what? Don't worry. O Doherty. We'll explain it to you oh. at the end of the podcast. It's Man, tough. I'm so I. Okay. Um, I, 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 now, Isla, would you ever seriously like? And I know you know. There's been a lot of fucking oh, banter and, cringe, and talk okay. back and forth. And you know, our fans have really helped. So all the people listening and watching out there, you guys are helping make this happen. We're all working together to find Matt a wife. And you're all invited to the wedding. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, so we'll we'll, we'll, be we'll like pay for 15, it. Michael and I, if you guys there. get married, we'll pay for the wedding. Isla, what I was the? Yep. What yep, was done. the? Um, what's the weirdest thing you've been sent so far about yeah. me? Oh, I don't know. There's been a few weird ones. I've seen I don't a know. Few. I haven't opened a lot of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Some of them are pretty. Yeah, people send me screenshots of them, and they're pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I look, now would you ever consider going on an actual? No, no pressure. Nothing. You know, I don't no, have to don't have sex this, or kiss or anything. But uh. would you ever genuinely go and sit down at a McDonald's with Matt Brown <laughs> and have a few look. cheeseburgers together? We should definitely talk. We should definitely talk rates. Oh wow! What was that? <laughs> talk rates. Oh, talk rates. Talk rates. I don't know. Okay. So, what are you saying that we, uh, we need to pay for that to happen? Yeah. Oh, okay. but okay. No, but this look, is fucked. it's still promising. We're chipping away. It sounds like everyone. So keep, keep. we and we will pay, Isla, if yeah. that's possible. I don't want to pay Isla to go on a date. Yeah, okay, no, look, remember, he's, he's, no, he's, 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 he's I've asked his Matt to take me on a date, and yeah. he didn't say yes. Yeah. What did you say? What did Matt say? This is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is why no. I asked you Jeez. how the conversation has been. Oh, they've just thrown me under the bus. Huh? What? What did Matt say? <laughs> did he ignore you? I can't remember, but he didn't say yes. Matt. You need to pull your pants up. He's Matt's got this thing. He thinks, he thinks that all these girls are being forced and coerced and that they don't genuinely like him. So he's scared to put himself out there. He's scared to put his feelings out there and be vulnerable. But really, the, 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 a lot of these girls want to go and die for you, can't. So say- Stop being yeah. such a pussy, Matt. you got to put say yourself sorry. out there. If you, want, sorry, if you want the cream, you got to go and have a lick of the bowl, cunt. Exactly. Oh, sorry. Say sorry, Matt. Say sorry. No, no, because uh, I'm not sorry because the conversation I think's going pretty well. All right, well, well. Kiss, the, kiss her then. K- kiss the microphone then. Well, we've already, no, we've no, already made it. I out. reckon throw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, to celebrate, throw the fucking baby across the podcast set, dickhead. At go virtual on. Isla. Right, that, there you go. That's pretty good. Isla, he just, he just threw the baby, so you'll be impressed. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, Isla. Thank there you. There you go. Thank you so much for coming on again. Before, before we say goodbye, though, I th- like let's just just so there's a glimmer of hope like genuinely are you open at least to still getting to know matt we are further? we're talking yeah yeah so is, are you but are you genuinely open to it you're or are you just sort of it worse. just sort of no we're know, helping humor, we're humoring we're us we're helping helping garden, you're, mate. You're, i'd be if i was i'd be so let, let her answer let's, let's let her let's let her answer the we're, question 
We're basically dating already, I thought. No, no, but just seriously, is there in the future a small slither chance that you guys could you be never boyfriend? Know. Yes, that's all you we fucking know. need, mate. Yeah. That's all we fucking need, cunt. Yeah. That's all we fucking need. That's a victory. Man. Today we've had a win. And Matt, unsubscribe from Isla's OnlyFans. It's, it's weird. How dare he? Yeah, no way. <laughs> You got to keep paying. I want to see a, a preview of my future queen. Oh, that's the best better brown, eh? Yeah, now he's means he's starting to bubble a bit, cunt. But, um, Isla, you're, you're still number one. I hope so, so okay. Well, there we have it. Suck Top three at the end of the season. So Isla's you, one yeah. of them. Yeah, so by the sounds of it. But definitely by the sounds of it. All right, Isla, thank, thank you, you so Isla. much for spending some of your Saturday here to help us today. We really appreciate it. And Matt loves it's you. It's been great. See you, Isla. You Tell you, lover. Tell you, lover. I love you. <gasps> say sorry. Holy shit. Sorry. Too much. <laughs> She's hung up on you when you said that. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit, Brown. Oh, yeah, you, you were too you much. Gotta, shut up, both of you. You got to know when to rein it in, man. You need to know when to rein it in. All too the shit long. that you come out with. <laughs> It's fucking yeah. sickening. I'm sorry. I can't believe you called. I knew. I picked it straight away. <laughs> yeah. I knew. Oh, I can tell Matt knew as soon as I said the boys know. <laughs> Dude, you should have committed to that tennis ball Dude, throw. Dude, that's your future wife. Like, this is going to happen. I've predicted we find your wife and Isla is beautiful and perfect for Isla you. is beautiful and perfect, but she ain't going to marry me. She don't want to do that. Are you only saying that? Part of the joke. Is this, are you only saying that because, yeah, you think, what? what if... What no. if, right? This joke got you guys to know each other to a level, and then she th- started thinking, "Here, you know Science. what? Matt is actually a fucking great guy, and I do want to fucking grab his cheeks and like, like, fill you up. up. She's gonna spit on his mouth. There. Maybe I do want to do that. Um, so holy shit! So, so that he- theory that you're just saying, then it's love. Um, we fixed it. Yeah, there's probably a small chance we've got good banter, so that could be the beginning. There you go. Matt, all you need is a thought and then a belief and then an action. And then a spark. Not an action. Yeah, which is and a then, spark. And then the fire begins and it burns hard and so, heavy. And I will watch you guys fuck. But she's got you, competition though. You should say thank you <laughs> oh, for yeah. what we've done. What? Who else no. are you talking to? Which oh, other so ones you, you like t- other... So no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm just... As I said, Matt's I can't... Isla's definitely going to be top three at the end of the season. I can't deny... But there's um, two others, right? I, I can't deny that... Uh, the UK girl Jess she's an OnlyFans chick Um, we've just ignored the whole side of the Bachelor Brown shit and we've just been chatting about shit and just keeps continuing and continuing oh here we go she's pretty cool so so far top two out of three are both OnlyFans yeah I know (laughs) fucking hell (laughs) shocking (laughs) no one would have picked that Um, but yeah I just yeah but me and her have just been chatting just because she's good at fucking conversation so it's just been continuing well it's not that she's good it's that you're both getting along and you're quite similar I think and Maybe. in many ways that you don't realise and there's actually a genuine connection there so I think you should keep <laughs> oh, exploring God, that <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's great to see it's great to see anyway fucking moving right along fuck me cunt I'm pissing let's, and let's bong break again let's bong really get break <laughs> And we're back. I got a home right. one. We're going to do the uh, 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 lying to Lockie segment. <sighs> Let us know in the comments if you guys don't rate this segment, by the way, because we think it's funny, but we have a weird, distorted view of the world and what is funny. <laughs> so if it's not funny, because we're just telling Lockie very b- basic little lies. Uh, alternatively, if you like this segment, let us know. And if you have a lie that you'd like us to tell Lockie, please let us know, because sometimes they're, they're hard to think of good lies. Anyway, this is a good one though. Yeah, so we're gonna call Lockie. And first Double of all, line. we're gonna we're gonna set him up with like, oh hey, we're starting a Facebook page for James. Can you like do up some logos for him? Uh, I don't even know if we mentioned the gardening thing because that might m- might s- m- make him like a bit like yeah, oh, the guy. Well, like we want to. Th- as soon as I say that, then I'll just slip in. Oh, dude, by the way, fucking, <laughs> you'll never guess. Djokovic just d- replied to our, one of our DMs. So the lie today is that Novak Djokovic has replied to a, a DM of us wishing him well at Wimbledon. So we're telling him that lie while we're trying to say another lie. So it's like a double lie. <sighs> double lie. Double jeopardy. Let's see if we can got Gottfried twice. Let's got let's get got. Let's get Gottfried. Gotta get get. I gotta show my caller ID for this. Please don't forget to Sorry, tell me to turn on. it off again, Matt. Turn off. Oh no, turn on. Pardon? 
Sorry. Can you guys hear me in the... Yeah. I can't hear you. Have you sat down on your cord? Maybe you got, I can. Have you unplugged your cord? Okay, well, can you hear it? Can you hear what I'm saying right now? I don't know. I think so. Well, you replied to me, so I'm assuming that you probably can. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> and I, yeah, sorry. Hold on. Did we just go through that? Can yeah, you I don't know if I can hear right Can now. you hear what I'm saying, Michael? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, sorry. All right, here we go. Fuck, man, you can't. All right, calling Lockie. Here we go. <laughs> that was comedy. All right, here we go. All right, let's try the screaming segment. Then we come back to calling we'll Lockie. Come back to Lockie. See if he calls back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call. Who should we call today? What about a, um, what's open on a Saturday? Um, what about a, we call, well, we've done a restaurant. We've done. Um, what about a fish and chip shop? Call. All right, I'll call a fish and chip shop. <laughs> Guys, this segment is a segment where we just call a random business and I will scream as loud as I can and then we see how long they stay on the phone for. If they get to one minute of staying on the phone, then we have to say to them, you win this round. Uh, Lockie's calling back. Lockie's <laughs> calling back. Abandon everything. Lockie's calling back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Hello, mate. hey dude, can you hear me? Yeah. Wait, just a quick one. Um don't have to do it anytime soon or anything but um we're thinking about starting a page for um james would you be able to yeah. fucking help us with just a cheeky little logo we'll pay you obviously yeah is that all right i can never tell, like i don't even believe you <laughs> like I, oh no 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 dude yeah no this is dead serious no, it's saturday dude we don't do the podcast on a saturday oh yeah true. That works again. yeah, yeah. um <laughs> oh dude so it was around podcast time yeah exactly that's exactly right mate um yeah, yeah, I can, I can do, I can do a logo for you. All right, what, fuck what, yeah. what is, what's it gonna be called? I think he's because you know he loves like gardening, so I think like something gardening related. So maybe just James, but instead of arms, he's got trees. What? <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon? <laughs> That'd be too fucking weird. What is it? What he's gonna, he's gonna make garden content? Yeah, because you know he's like knows heaps about like plants and cactuses and shit. I reckon he's a fucking having me. I'm gonna <laughs> no, make no. this logo with James. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. No, dude. No, I swear to God, I'll pay you before you even do it in a show of no. good faith. No, no, no right. I'll, um, so you want, <laughs> you want James his arms, his, the trees his arms. Yeah, yeah. Right. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's fucking, that's what, that's well, what Michael what's and I the, came up what's with? What kind of content? What kind of content are you going to make? Like, just like, literally like, um, you know how there's so many cooking pages? It'll be like, not a cooking page, it'll be like a gardening page. So just weird little fucking gardening hacks and just fucking shit like that. And I reckon he'll just like, have a huge female following because he'll have his fucking arms out and shit and his cock showing through his little white shorts. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. All right, fuck it. Oh, dude, so funny too. No, you know, Novak Djokovic, he, re he fucking replied to one of our DMs. We, no, we wished, wished him well on um for against for oh, really? curious yeah on a story and he replied to us <laughs> fucking awesome I don't know whether to believe you or not. <laughs> Man, this is this is ru this is ruined our friendship. Oh my god, lying to Lockie has ruined our fucking friendship. Okay, I just keep thinking of like little loopholes. I'm like, maybe you'll get me something to do something real, and then you'll just slide in the light at the end. <laughs> oh my god, that definitely sounds like something we would do. But no, I'll show you the fucking screenshot. I was yeah. just about to post it on our story anyway. <clears throat> That's so sick. That's funny, huh? You, we, we got you, idiot. <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> well, you are on fucking lying to Loggy, and we got you, cunt. <laughs> 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 you got Godfrey dickhead Oh my god You fucking believe that you idiot Of course what no that did not reply He has millions of followers Lucky We don't need a logo so suck yeah, him We don't need a logo either <laughs> I fucking knew he fucking picked it too, but then he's just too, he's just that little bit too polite to call on it properly. Oh man. So good. I knew if, you were alive, if we were together, it would have been straight yeah, up alive. Yeah. So you had to be alone. And oh, yeah, if that was me, you would have been like, I'm, I'm hanging up now, Michael. I know you're lying. If I had said that, you would have been like, yep. 
<laughs> Straight away, what? yeah, we're bullshit. <laughs> that was honestly, I'm going to say top 20 moments, best like moments of my life. It, it's made my weekend. That was like, thank you, Lockie. Thank you. <laughs> Your James threw a story threw me off. I was like, cactus content. I knew that if we had the initial lie set up for ages, then we could bring a second in one like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that was the game plan. But oh, he picked yeah. it. And anyway. Very fucking good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, we'll talk yeah. to you next week. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, same time? Yeah, you idiot, we got you. <laughs> oh. Oh, best yeah, yeah, top well, 10, well, 20, 20 lying, That's lying, the best one we've done to him lying, so far. Lying to lock. So lying, fun. lying. All right, lock. back to screen. So All right. the screen oh. one was. Okay, so this this is a seg- segment where well, chips. Have yeah. I explained what what it is? Yeah, you explained. Yeah, before. so we say, you, if they can hang on for one minute and listen to me scream, they win. That okay. Round. All right, here we go. <clears throat> is my phone on fucking private? <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me, Matt. No problem, man. All right, here we go. So, what do you predict? Oh yeah, oh. that's right. We have to make a prediction. Oh, I reckon I'm, I'm going to go 18 seconds. A, a short one. I'm going to go 13. Yeah, I was, was going to go there. Because I got a hole in one on hole 13. Anyway. It, it depends on who answers, yeah, really, yeah, doesn't it? That is very true. But could go either way. They could be angry at me um, for screaming. So I'm going to I'm gonna play it safe and go 20 seconds. Yeah. So 13, 18, 20. Let's do it. <sighs> Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Ready, ready, ready. Ah! 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 13 seconds. 13. Wait, wait, wait. That, well, let's see that call then. Fuck, I didn't start the timer. Yeah, 14 seconds. Fuck, I was Ooh. close. 14 yeah. seconds. Michael cut is the winner. Cut the name of that fish and chips, please. Yeah, very Connor. important, Connor. Cut the Damn name. Damn it. See, it doesn't work as well when they don't hang on for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Or at least but question it. So usually they pass the phone around and be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, well, remember, they're so fed up that place. Yeah, and it's dinner. It's mid. It's nearly dinner service. Dinner rush. <laughs> so they're probably busy. And Yeah, we know. Cranky. You know, it's hit and miss with the screaming segment. Again, if it's a segment you guys don't want, let me know. And I'll cut it, cunt. We'll do that for you, cunt. Just let us know. Personally, I love that segment, man. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. But the lying to Lockie was pinnacle shit of our careers. Mm, it's going to be tough. Beat that. <laughs> <laughs> he just texted James and said, go and get fucked. That is so worth it, what we did then. Oh All right, guys, now it is time for the moo, the cow, the question, the comment of the week. And this is a separate competition thing where we pick a comment from last week's episode that we love the most and we cut it out, scissors, and we stick it on a little board for everyone to see. Can you get the board out? (laughs) And at the end of the season, we'll pick one of these comments to be the best comment of the entire season. So your comment could make it onto this board. All right. So that's crazy. That's separate to the thousand dollar any random comment competition as well. So we'll be giving that's two comment competitions you're in the running for. So fucking comment away, cunt. There are there are a fair few that's not on there, Brown. I know we need blue tack. All right, so Matt, can someone send us blue tack because uh, Matt doesn't know where to find any, (laughs) and then we will put those remaining names and immortalize you on that board. All right, so let's see what the comment of the week is this week. This was chosen by Michael. Oh. All right. Comment of the week went to James James Julian. Oh, both of them. Um, when was Matt diagnosed with Brown syndrome? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good. I like that. Sorry. Brown. Brown syndrome. That's like you've got like like 20 times the chromosomes that you should and they all metastasized in your testicles as mints. Yeah, that's why you get the rocks or the kidney yeah. stone rock. Kids. Kid stones. The kids. (laughs) All right. So now now we go to the comments, guys, and the the questions. All right. This is where we answer your questions, and we answer the most liked questions. So if you have a question for us, go to the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel, comment your question, and have a scroll through, see which other questions you want us to answer, because we will answer the most liked fucking comments. Do you understand that? Yeah. Does that fucking make sense to you, cunt? I think. Sorry. Um, all right. Top question went to a person who's wanted a few. Bong Bray! 
Jake. Ooh, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> James and Mono are friends. <laughs> They're saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> They're friends. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, so. And we're fucking back. Let us continue with the questions that you oh. have for us. All right. Um, top question he's wanted before is from Donut Films. Donut Films. Fucking. Do- Can I just say? He does well. Donut Films, your comments are always very, very good. I don't know what it is about him. Mm. His comments are just always very intriguing, aren't And they? what he sends. Yeah, you're still a sick fuck. Uh, yeah. No, you're not. Uh, no, no he's a, we, uh, we he's, ask for everything he sends. There's a reason people watch this. We are all sick We've fucks. We've demanded he send everything. We've asked for piss, cum, shit, there was a time blood, when, in there, a way, I guess. There was a time when you were the leader of the sick fucks, man. How dare you condemn a fellow sick fuckian? Donut Films, we love you. And his question is: Are you boys still going to attempt a record the world's longest podcast? Yes. Yeah, yes. we're still going to do it, even if we don't get the Guinness World Book of Records fucking seal of approval. We're just going to do it anyway and just say it's the longest because because it, it will is. Be, it will be. Yeah. If we do it, it is. If we say it is, it is. Yeah, yeah. true. That's, and that's peer reviewed. It's science. Yeah. And that's peer reviewed science. Um, have we we haven't heard back from Guinness A? Eh? No, nah, they said it would take time. Yeah, so we're planning on doing this. So it's episode twenty one now. We were going to do it on like episode thirty, so which is like nine weeks away. So um, if we haven't heard back from them in a couple of weeks, let's just start organizing it without the dogs. And what it's like a well, thirty six hour they continuous did, podcast. Yeah, yeah, we, they did we, say it'd be like three months though. So they said expect that. That's too long. Yeah, that's too long. But it's Fuck been. It. We've, 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 you see, you guys are impatient. We've um, we sent it to him ages ago, so we just need how to long wait ago? a little longer. I can check when I. All right, we'll wait. Let's say five weeks. In like no, because it'll take eight weeks. If in eight nah, weeks, because then we've we'll only know. got two weeks to organize it. Let's just go in five weeks. We start organizing it. Okay. Clearly, okay. later. And then as we get the <laughs> all clear from them, we've already got it set up. When we've done it, and without them, we've so still we've, got nineteen episodes to go. So we've got time. Okay. Sorry. We'll do it twice tomorrow and if it means we have to push it to next season we'll push it to next no season. no no we got it i'm that's sick of on. saying things that we don't follow know, through we on we're doing it <coughs> we're doing it and that's that yeah but i also want to do it properly yeah well, well we can do it properly next season then but we're doing we have to start sticking on our word all these people all these poor people we get them all excited and then leave them fucking hanging dry we 36 can't do what's it. the record wanna, 36 hours twice, or 50 though. hours that's, that's how what, long that's what i mean we got to figure out what they're is it really? Yeah, I just made nothing. 36 up. Yeah, it's a day and a half, isn't it? That was or 40 hours 30, or He's right. 36 is the record. 40 is what we're going to go for. Yeah, yeah fucking easy. But then, but then- Do that now. That there's that a possibility it could be 50. Bullshit. It just depends which side of the spectrum we- Did you on. just say spectrum? Are we live streaming it or are we like- Is it like a recorded- No, we can't. Yeah. We're not going to- podcast. Oh, How are we going to upload a 36 We'll have hour? to settle down and talk about it oh, when yeah, it gets close to it. Yeah, don't worry. We'll figure all that shit out. Something will happen. Connor, Connor's already down, told him he's down to do it. He's fine with it. Sorry. Anyway, let's move on. That's another discussion. Um, uh, next question was from Stephen Hunt. He was almost the winner today, but he just missed it. Um, when will you guys be doing a studio live audience podcast? Season finale, I hope. You want to do a live studio podcast by season finale? Yeah, that's, we got 19 weeks. That's like half a year, dude. Sort of. It's the same thing. It's just the planning. I just want to know. Yeah. It could be a lot to it. Oh, there's a, there's a lot to it. We got to get the three Bachelor Brown ladies. We got to Fuck we got to get the we were winners about of the getting Suncorp Stadium. Winners of the competitions and shit. Out, Matt. <laughs> that during NRL Grand Final. <laughs> no, that would actually be during the AFL final. Yeah. Oh, at the other side, we're no, in the no, no, no. At Suncorp, we'll get them to have the final here. Part of the circle will be in the crowd. We'll pull some it, strings. I wish we did so, do Suncorp. That'd be good. Sorry. Um. Anyway, next question, please. All right. Um, uh, next question is from Dakota Jane. Oh Living my God. Stone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Living Stone, man. I uh, get it. <laughs> this is why the podcast. Dakota Stone? Out. This is why the podcast goes for an hour and a half. It's because of this. Sorry. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, her question was, if someone did the scream segment to you and uh, are you hanging up or are you listening as long as possible? Probably I'd these stay. days. It- stay for a good 30 to 40 seconds. <laughs> if these days, if I got a call, if I was sitting at home and, and someone was screaming, <laughs> I'd probably hang up pretty immediately. <laughs> no, no. Because I'd know oh, a fan's gotten my phone. Yeah. And, and it's, this is too. payback for what I do. So like, it's funny. But I would just be like, I don't, I don't need that right now. Okay, yeah, <laughs> holy shit! I you know I give it a chance because I love like a loud, volumed, like yeah, you really you like that. Probably laugh at it. I'd be just curious. There would be a part of me that's curious. Oh, I wonder what this is going on here. It is. It is. It's. I like making loud noises. I don't like hearing loud mm. noises. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Next so question sorry from that. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> See, every question is followed by this. Well, that's because they're funny questions. No, they're not. He's that's just a so, very funny question. No, no, he's just so stoned. You just got to make a little giggle laugh no, and he, he loses it. His sorry was spot yeah, that's on, what I mean. dude. That was the best sorry I've ever heard. We're going to get sorry merch. <laughs> we should. Okay. Yeah, we will. All right, back to normal. You've got to sorry. control this, Michael. Okay. It's going to be a long questions. Sorry. All right, next question. Hmm. Mm. Hurry up. Next question is from Cheezel Shits. Oh. Um, will, you can, uh, will you continue to make videos and inspire people into your later lives? It would be funny to see you guys trying to get a date for Matt when he's 60 plus. Well, hopefully by 60 plus, Matt will be settled down. Although he might have been divorced by then. Yeah. So yeah, potentially. Yep. Because Matt, will, you, Matt will go through a divorce. <laughs> I've, oh, I've, foreseen, divorce. I've foreseen it um, in his, in who he is as a person. I've tried to correct it, but I, the, Matt will have a very messy divorce in oh. his mid to late fifties. Oh no. no. Imagine but was, you know, it's that's like, not to say there's lots some good years to begin with. So it's not all doom and gloom. That Jesus. Fucking terrifying. Five divorces. I won't five. get five. Okay. I'll be done. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Some people do that, eh? Sorry. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, but don't worry, man. You'll find someone else. And the second wife you have will be the one that you should have been with your whole life. I but think Greg's on his You third. only get like three or four years with her because she will actually die quite young. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I don't, the first, I don't make this You'll up. know this her is... for a week. It's Isla. No, no. no you've Isla it, yeah. will be your exactly. first divorce. Oh, that'll be your first divorce. But it will be beneficial for both of you. Because the age difference, she, she's still young. She still wants to go to the Met and you're at home yeah. and you're at home and you just want to yeah. play with the hamsters that you have. I'm 40. You bought 19 hamsters. Do you have a hamster now? Well, no, no, I might yeah. get one. Though. Yeah, it's see? Fun. So. He wants them the same color as his beard. Guinea pig. Mm, next question is from Barmo underscore UK. Um, have you guys been watching Wimbledon and what do you think of Nick oh, Kyrgios? Oh. It's been fucking, it's hard. It ruins my sleeping pattern so much. And yes, I've been watching the shit out of Wimbledon and staying up to like fucking, stay up to 6 a.m. on, on <laughs> our week off one night because Wim- Nick was fucking in that awesome match against Sitsipas. Just fucking yeah, wow. Drunk. Well, it, it's right now we've got what, 24 hours till he plays the final. The grand final. Like that's monumental. That hasn't happened Mono? in over twenty years. In twenty in years' time, 20 years. first Australian. And I know if to you're not a tennis a fan, final. if you're not a tennis fan, you probably want us to shut up right yeah, now. Yeah, but like we but, were little tennis boys. Yeah, and I used to watch Wimbledon. That's one thing because it was always matches up with the school holidays. So as a, even as a little boy, I could stay up and watch Wimbledon, yeah, and that dude. excited me to no end. I'd wake up at like three a.m. to watch this like Australian. I'd stay up. Open. <laughs> <laughs> just put on replays of it <laughs> it was like tapes from my grandfather <laughs> sorry sorry uh, about that but yeah we love tennis <laughs> and we're excited about it yeah sort of and Nick Krios is like a good player to watch because he's, he's very entertaining you know an entertainer to watch of course he's a very out there person but aside from that he's very entertaining to watch tennis anyway next question cunt Zach Jeanette has asked, have you boys had many actual strains of weed before? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what is your favorite if you've had a fair few different strains? I love the OG Kush is is my favorite. It's very high in THC and it just, oh, I love a good fucking Indica where you just get fucked. See, I like Sativas. 
Yeah, you like teams. I like to just be like out of body experiences, <laughs> this close to panicking and screaming and not knowing where I am and blacking out and waking up with blood nose and bloodshot eyes. Can't yeah, astral projection, sort of that stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like. So yeah, yeah. All the high THC ones are, are really good for me. And I think I like yeah the opposite where. Michael likes the lighter colors. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing better than just like listening to lyricless music and just walking around in circles <laughs> through like a, a forest. Oh my, it sounds like you're lost. <laughs> yeah. Lyricless music. It sounds like he's just walking around a forest playing a guitar. And he that is. sounds like you retired. Or getting hole in ones. Holy fucking shit. Sorry. All right. Um, next question is from Esno. Um, how did Matt Brown pick up that sick and disgusting habit of playing with goalies? Oh, I know. It, Matt's had this thing ever since we've known him. Matt um, used to get all of us to spit in a glass. Or, yeah, I can't remember this. Is this real? Yeah, so what I would do, the, the, the party <laughs> trick was I'd get everyone to spit in the glass. And everyone put, at the party. Yeah, a dash of water, and then I'd put it all into my mouth, and then I'd go, and I'll gargle it all out. Oh my God, cunt. I remember and it was so <laughs> yeah. fucked. So Matt has a weird, uh, does not, uh, the spit does not affect him. It does I'm, not phase him. And I suspect it's from his fucking rampant days when he was <laughs> having all those people. I've realized something though. We've all got phobias in different ways. I couldn't deal with piss and shit, but you can. You can't deal with blood and gollies. Were you yeah. there, Mono, when James threw up and I was playing? <laughs> yeah, Weren't Mono you was like there. feeling really sick about it. Yeah. James threw up and I was I playing in his Mono's vomit. like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. no, you're grabbing. <laughs> James. It up. Okay, so here's the story, right? James had a, a the had, James had never had edibles. And Michael's like, here, have half this cookie. And then I had, we all had like half a cookie. And then I it started hitting me pretty quickly. And I was like, are these like quite strong, Michael? And he's like, it's like, there's like four servings per cookie. I'd found out like two weeks later that two of the cookies or two halves of the cookies one of the cookies was like double the strength of the other cookie and James had a double strength through his very oh. first time it's, I nearly fucking greened out but James oh he out. missed the flight yeah pow <laughs> James missed his flight, was power vomiting in Luke's backyard. And as soon as he's done power vomiting, Michael prances over <laughs> and dips his hand in and starts picking up fistfuls of vomit and letting it string down his hand. He was like paralyzed for 24 oh, hours. It, it, it like, fully rocked me move. too. <laughs> his first time ever doing edibles. That I didn't even realize. I was lucky, but like, yeah, sorry, James. Sorry about no, he that. He never trusts edibles ever again. Yet I'm the disgusting one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, but we no, know he played with it. Can't you can <laughs> gargle it? You could, oh, not vomit, but you'd do spit. That's the same well, thing. Well, I haven't done that yet in well, front of you. Would you drink it? Swallow it? Nah, no. Nah. That's disgusting. Ooh. Okay, Man, so how me... much, if I spat in a glass all day, making me sick. how much would it take for you what? to take a shot of just see, my See, now, now it gets out of hand oh because God. it's all day and it starts <laughs> to smell. You got to do it on the spot. It needs what to be if fresh. We, okay. I, I get half an hour to spit into a cup on the podcast and at the end you do it and then we pay you what amount does that cost dude i've got it i've got it i've got it i've got Can it please listen to this we you spit in a in a mold in an ice cup mold we freeze the spit we pull the frozen spit out we batter it and then we deep fry it so deep fried spit balls yeah, but that's okay if it's your own i'd do that yeah, right. you do mine but that'd be hard on the podcast i reckon we give you an amount of money. We, I start at the beginning of the podcast. I get to spit in this glass all throughout the podcast. Oh. At the end of the podcast, you drink it and no then you get the money. No one is going to want to see that. I don't think yes, they will. It's really good. Comment if you want to see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely any... curious if anyone, wa if anyone wants to see that. No, Because like, when we do gross shit, people click to, off. Yeah, we're starting to lean into website content. <laughs> yeah. I think it's okay. We'll let the comments see. Yeah, we'll let the comments decide. But how much would it take for you to do that? Yeah, whatever you want to give me, man. Like 200 bucks? Done. Bullshit. I guess Fine. meth is a grand, of course. <laughs> yeah. You're going to do that for Matt's two. Matt's going to do meth for a grand. So $200, I spit in a shot glass. <laughs> At the end of the podcast, you drink the shot glass. I'm not going to swallow. That's not my trick. My, my trick is I put it in my mouth and okay. I drip out. Oh. Comment if you want to see that. I don't you, think you anyone really wants it. to see oh. that. Okay, well, see, I would want to see that. So I'm going to comment this week. Oh, Just you man. and me doing it together. No, it's clearly, clearly, clearly. <sighs> anyway, next question. 
Um, a lot of people asked questions about what is the holy grail of Tim Tams. Oh. It's going to take time to explain. No, that, it's simple. Oh, we did see your messages. Like, you your bite the about. top off, then you go around the edges, leave the inner circle that's like really like soft. Creamy. <laughs> yeah. And then you leave the base at the... You leave the base that's the around chocolate the on the base. No, yeah, the, the or base. The all cream. of the outside chocolate. All the outside chocolate, chocolate except for the bottom under okay. the cream, and it's the holy grail. What? And then you just eat it as normal. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard, but it's the holy grail. It, it is so quite hard. It's hard. Remember, could... James loved it. Did you have the holy grail, Mono? Matt, you've had the holy grail. Yeah, it's good, but it has to be done with original. Double chalk doesn't work. Double chalk is shit. Always have original. That is true. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. I don't know if I have the patience. No, it's so good. It like I was it, it made it sense when you had it, Matt. Right? You're like, oh yeah, I yeah. It. I didn't really. It's trust like it. a better Tim Tam if you have it that way. I didn't trust it at the start, but it is. Good. Maybe you should invent your own Tim Tams. Cream. Well, Tams. it's like chips. If you have normal chips, you always hate them. But if they're like Wish chips and they're folded, they're way better. That is but true. yeah, I've got business plans for that. I love Mono's <laughs> still here. <laughs> hey Mono. <laughs> All right. Uh, final question from Candice Maher. Um, what was the best thing about being a tennis player slash teacher coach? Well, we weren't really players when we were coaches. You got to make a choice. You're either a player or you're a coach. There is no fucking in between because it takes up all of your fucking time. And being a player, you have to sacrifice everything. everything. And we weren't prepared to do that. So that's why we stopped. And it's just like... All, it's relentless. All the parents and shit. It's just, there are some intense people in the tennis world. What are the parents like in the fuckwits? All of them. Rich, entitled fuckwits. All Not like all of them, but like the ones that make it normally. Oh, or yeah. That well, the ones that, yeah. I the had ones some that really make cool it are so rich. You, you had some that you like, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your friends and shit, but god damn, man. Fuck me. Can't fuck and, off. Oh, but like, if you want to be a tennis player, yeah, fuck you have to dad. have a lot of money. All the private coaching and the. Tennis gear, rackets and all the, the traveling. You travel the fucking tournaments every weekend and you got to buy accommodation for your whole team and you just fuck off, mate. Tip. Yeah, it's hard. But it's good if, if you, you make, make it. it. And if you... Oh, fuck. It's like a hole in one. Not many people, <laughs> not many people have it, you know? Yeah. Like only certain people have the hole in ones. So, yeah. I've never felt that feeling. And yeah, co- and, I have. And coaching <laughs> is... Coaching is like it was one of the. It was really shit. It, like no, no, there was some good days. You know, the privates with one on ones with good players and stuff. Yeah, sure. All right, it's like but good sessions with good students. Getting up at four thirty a.m. in the middle of winter because fucking some cunt wants a lesson before he goes to work though. That can that can <laughs> stay fucked off. And all the huge kids' lessons, man, fuck that shit off. That that sucks. Stay fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best terminology I've ever heard. And yeah, the kids like some of the kids don't want to be there. They're the worst. The kids who have had their parents pay for their tennis, but they actually hate tennis. <laughs> so they're just there to fuck around. Do they tell you that they hate it? Yeah, there were kids that were just obvious. We were just like, uh, <laughs> like so bored by everything that we were doing. I'd be telling them, tell your parents you hate this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the questions for the week. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now we move on to the prank fucking phone call cunt. <laughs> and this is where Darren is going to call... One three cabs, and he's going to say that he's lost his drugs, drugs in one of their cabs just oh, now. Okay. I'm pissing. I remember if they put you on hold, they will still be able to hear you. Hear you. I know for a fact the cab companies are usually like that. So keep it up. Back there, put you on hold. Press one if this is your pickup address. Press one to book a taxi immediately. Thank you. Your booking has been accepted. <laughs> Thank you for calling one to three cab. That was our prank call that we booked in cabs. <laughs> Some random address. <laughs> How the fuck can you talk to a human being? That's so ridiculous. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Hello, this is a- I can I help? Yeah, good day, 
Uh, my name's Darren. Um, look, I just got um, dropped off um, not too long ago, right, um, and down on Meadowlands Road, and um, I've just realised I've um, left something in the cab, like a um, big um, glad wrap bag full of stuff, um, and I sort of need it for tonight because I'm um, having a bit of a party and that, and I was just trying to see, like, if we could, like, hook me up with the cab that dropped me off on that, and um, if I could maybe get all my shit back. Yeah, okay, mate. Did you, how, did you book the cab through the phone or did yeah, you mate, pick yeah. it up on it? Yeah, I did. Have you got the reference number for the trip? No, mate, I don't. I delete all my texts because there's no room on my phone, unfortunately. I didn't think I'd bloody need it. And I know... <coughs> <coughs> Well, no, I'm more fucked it there, but um, yeah, I'll just do it through phone. And the other thing too is, I think I might have accidentally booked another cab to my house. Um, accidentally just. What's your What's your address, Darren, for the pickup? Uh, Seventeen minutes. Where did he pick you up? He, Sorry, he, he I mean. got me from the valley, right? He he got me from um the Fortitude Valley, um just outside uh, Prohibition. Hello, you there? Yeah, can you hear me, mate? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, just. Stopped all of a sudden. Yeah, no, that's what weird. was the address that he picked you up at? Uh, so just outside Prohibition, there in um in the valley. I think that's what that's um Ann Street okay. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure, mate. I'm in Melbourne, so yeah, no, nah, no, nah, right, right, yeah. So Ann Street, right, uh, in the Fortitude Valley, uh, Pro- Prohibition, nah, Prohibition nightclub, right? Fortitude Valley is that in Brisbane? Yeah, mate. Yeah, Brisbane, Brizzy, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's not on the Gold Coast. Then. No, 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 mate. Yeah, just just in Brisbane, um, right next to the CBD, like right next to the city, and that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wickham oh, is it two hundred six Wickham Street? Two hundred six Wickham. Yeah, it is. I just, I just my found mate, that in my mate, Yeah, yeah. So two hundred six Wickham Street, right? Cabs picked me up there, and I've yeah, left yeah, all me. Just- Yep. Yeah, I, I know. I understand. Yeah. I got that. Thanks. And I've left all my goodies, um, in in the back of the car there, um. Cab driver's a good bloke, but yeah, he he might have bloody um if he's flogged, I'm like yeah, I'm in big big strife. <laughs> so lucky, yeah, I'm gonna need that back. <sighs> so you just flagged him down, did you? Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, he's just driving past, and I stuck me hand okay. up, and he's jumped on in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You haven't got a reference yet. Didn't get a receipt from him. No, no, mate, no, no receipt. Just gave me cash and fucking got out of the car, right? And as soon as I got out of the car, I seen him driving off. Thought, fuck, checked all my pockets, checked me um, little bum bag, and, yeah. and all my gear's gone, mate. It's all in the back of the fucking car. Yeah, I can't actually find it because it wasn't booked and you flagged it down. Fuck. It makes it very difficult yeah, to track know, the driver mate. down for lost property. Yeah, fuck. What if I describe the um, contents, right? Not, and then if it gets handed help. in to lost help. property, what if he hands in in lost property and I've already described it, right? And then you can give me a buzz when it's come in and then I can come pick it up. How's that sound? Mate, let me put you through to lost property. We'll see you. Legend, mate. Hey, Legend, mate. Thank you, uh, mate. Appreciate that so much, uh, mate. Yeah, no. Nah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's not too bad. It's fucking good gear, strong, but fucking hell, can't. My whole fucking lot, no, this is all numb and shit. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's like fucking give me fucking anxiety, can't. Nah, that's how you know it's good, but. We're here today. Fuck me, them, them pingers, dark web pingers, can't. They're fucking hate strong, can't. Fucking dark web pingers, can't. Dark web pingers 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 can't. Dark web ping is cunt. 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 Cunt, 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 cunt. Dark web ping is cunt. Dark web ping is cunt. Dark web ping is cunt. Cunt. Dark. Where pings go? Hello, how can I help? 
can I help you? Yeah, good day, darling. How you going? Um, so I've good. just I've just called a um cab from the Valley Rot and it's taking me home. Um, the, I gave him cash, right? Uh, and he's bloody took off, and I've just realised, right? I've left all my um goodies in the back of the car, and uh, okay. I'll just call and see if I can get them back. Yeah, so he might okay. have already dropped them off. I don't know. He might have already dropped them off. Lost property, so I just thought I'd give bars and checks. Okay, so you got into the taxi in the valley. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. Did he run the meter? No, no, he didn't run the meter. He said he'd do me a cheeky little ten dollar discount or something if I gave him the cashies. No, well, I don't know which taxi it was. Oh, can you? But what if you check? Like, what if I leave description wrong? And if that matches what's in um, lost property and that. Uh, okay, I'll explain now. Lost property is locked up until Monday morning right, at eight thirty. Right, right. Anything that is left there is l- left into a locked right, chute. Yep, yep. And the drivers have forty-eight hours in which right. to put anything into lot prop- lost gotcha. property. I gotcha. Right. Okay. Now, also, um, one of the other things: Are you sure it was a one-three cabs and not a black and white? Oh fuck yeah! No, that's a pretty good question. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, like thinking back, like I, I don't know, I don't know. But the bloke seemed like a good guy. But um, so I reckon he's um chucked it in. So if I could just like it's it's a it's a small glad wrap bag, right? And it's got ten smaller bags in there. Um, and there's like okay. um, white crushed up powder in um ten of the bags there. And then there's another another other bag, uh, that's got black tape around it. And um, that's just got like some pills and that for me, um, um, like heart medication, whatever. Um, no, you'd, you'd have to ring up on Monday morning. I'll give you the phone right, number for the reception right, centre. Right. Yeah, no worries. Yep. So if I if okay. I if I call them on Monday, but um, so you reckon then they'll they'll um they'll if if I describe it, what's in lost property that they'll give it back to me, but. They may do. I don't know. What if it's like? Okay, what so if it's like illegal? Um, something that's not legal, and that is, is that. How, what's it work like there? If if what is handed in, right? Because I don't know. I don't. I'm not from like oh, um, Australia, oh, so oh, I, I don't know if it's legally. What I, like my heart medication and that it might be like they might say it's like oh it's drugs or some shit it's not it's not drugs and that it's just that that's that's what it might look like or something do you know what I mean does that sort of make sense or in other words you're trying to get out of saying it's drugs yeah we know that no no okay look, so all all I can do is give you the phone number for the for the reception area in Brisbane okay now if you want to ring them up on Monday morning. You can just say you left a parcel that's wrapped in Glad wrap, and, and they'll see if they've got it handed Look, in. Okay. What, if if your cab driver starts taking more drugs, drugs, but oh, I'm going to have to take it further, but and, and take it up the operating chain and that, because like that's okay, illegal. Like so, even if you think like it's illegal and that, you aren't allowed to test it and that. And I'm saying to you, it's heart medication, so you can't say uh, it's drugs, right? I so am if, not if someone's, ta- if someone's taking it, not- someone's taking more drugs, right? I get to take it up the command chain, up to your boss, right, and say that you've no. taken my heart medication, and that's I. That's in the law. I read that in the law, mate. So you can't you can't okay. go throwing it out, right? What I am saying is anything that is lost, you can phone the police at any time and... No, oh, the coppers, coppers won't know shit. The coppers will fucking think I'm fucking some drug or something, or some shit and fucking throwing throw, throw me more fucking what? bars or some shit. What the hell do you think you sound like now? Oh, what do you mean, Dale? I'm just trying to get me belongings back, trying to get a Saturday night, you know what I mean? I'm working hard. You, you, are, not list- you are not listening to a thing bloody I am saying. Bloody cab bloody stolen off me, bloody off me family. I'll bloody pay, pay and put food on the bloody table. I've got two two-year-olds. Um, if you will be quiet for two minutes and listen to yeah, me, no, right. I will tell you what to do. All right, look, I'll calm down. So, I'm sorry, all right? Look, yes, thank you. Some medications. I'm, not, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. You're the one that's talking about all illegal no, stuff. Look, I respect okay? that. No, I respect that. No, right. you're right. You're right. Thank you. No. Now, the phone number you need I'll to ring off. on Monday morning. Right. Okay, double three. Hey, write that down. Can, can you write that down? Write that yeah. down. One, one sec, my mate's just one sec, my mate's just a bit fucking a bit out of it. Alright, nah, that's sick. Now nah, look, look what you done there, right? Listen, like I, like I respect that, right? You've come you've I've yeah. come I've come up. I've come up behind you and you've sort of turned, right? And you've backed yourself, right? And it's it's taken me a bit and I'm a bit like fucking I've stepped back and like respect levels gone up like massively, right? You need to know right. you, you done you done a good thing here or not, down, right? right? And I'm gonna give my bar okay. on Monday and see how we go. But nothing but respect for you. And if you're in front of me right now, I'll give you, you a big big bloody handshake, mate. Because now nah, on, on a 
honestly. Unreal job. Nah, and I, I mean that. You take that to bed home tonight, right? You take that home. Okay, now I also suggest that you ring black and white and ask them um, what their lost property depot number is and ring them on Monday morning, okay? Right, they can't call me, but they can't fucking call me. If I've lost something on, on, in their property, well, it, doesn't it that depends. mean they call me? It depends if they can find a taxi right. that you were in. But right. if he didn't run the meter, we right. can't find the taxi. No, nah, no, nah, I see that now, right? I've, I've just double-checked yeah. in my head, and that makes sense, what yeah. you've just said. Yeah. fully, It's okay. just clicked. It's clicked in like Lego yeah. blocks clicking together. I get it yeah. now. If, they run, if they run the meter, we can trace where right. they are, and we can pick which cab right. it was. Right, right. But yeah, if they no, don't yeah. run the meter... And, and there's too many people just paying up front mate. and there's no meter. Mate, and, you I know, know mate. It's bloody, it. it's bloody yeah. shocking these days. They, that's the first it thing is. they ask me. It's, it's the f- first thing they fucking say to me. They go, oh, what, yeah. you, you got pay cash or car? First thing, oh, they get, oh, jump in the fucking yeah. cab. I'm like, mate, I just fucking got in, mate. <laughs> yeah. And they're fucking saying yeah. that shit straight away. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, give, give Black and White a ring on Monday or e- even before then and find out what number to ring on if Monday. Black okay? and White ta- if they've taken my stuff, up black and white. I'm gonna be blade fuming, mate. I'll call you back and we'll fucking have a bitch session about them, mate. Because that's unreasonable, right? If they take my shit, that's so fucked. I'll be waiting for them to call. Uh, you've given me lost property number from your joint, right? And I respect that. Yep. You boys have my upright respect down till the yep. day I okay. die. To the day I die. Yep. But black and white, okay. if they've misplaced my shit, I'll be fucking fuming. Okay, well, give it a go and uh, see see how you go. No okay, worries, darling. No worries, darling. You have a bloody great weekend, all right? I'll bloody check okay. you later on. Yeah! Thank you. Bye. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, does that, that mean we've got a number for next week? To that, yeah, yeah, that? that's why I wrote that yeah, down. That was, I didn't count. So that's her number. No, no that's, that's the lost, lost property, property that's number. Lost property number. Oh, oh dude. Yeah, that's perfect. I can just say that I've lost heaps of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's like another five prank calls. Rhonda can call. Arnold can call. Say he lost his left his pig in a cab. <laughs> Darren, this goes on. Darren is a poet, dude. Um, oh, that was very Connor, well done, Connor, dude. obviously the um, the fucking hold times were very long then, so just cut down where possible. Yeah. Leave some of the singing in if it's funny enough. I'll leave that to for you to oh, decide. Oh, two yeah. songs. I yeah, believe. there was a good song in there. But um, other than that, guys, that is the end of episode number 21. I'm oh, off to fucking boys. bowling and dinner now, babies. Tee, we did it, baby. Hole in one, <sighs> shit in the bed and kidney stones. It's been a good week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, holy we'll shit. see you guys next week. We're the best. 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 We're